What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be going over the pink noise and 6 dB guide for the equalizer. Now this is a way to have a reference um, because a lot of commercial tracks the energy will kind of slope off after the uh, 1k mark. So yeah, we'll, we'll give you a little uh, look at that. So we hit matching and we have uh, our reference and I'd like to do that but YouTube will get me for copyright but you can uh, play a a song that you're trying to match, um, hit capture, play a little bit of it, and then you can uh, match and play around with the curves. Um, there's other tutorials, uh, and I've kind of covered this before, and you can check that out. But what's really useful is the pink noise. Now this will add kind of a line reference. Pink noise is uh, 3 dB per octave. And uh, the 6 dB guide is 6 dB per octave. Now this follows what a lot of commercial tracks do. So yeah, we can kind of use this as a reference to see, you know, if we have the right kind of energy in the uh, mid to high end. It's uh, quite useful. So yeah, I'll give it a play. All right, so first off, there's a bit of a problem here. So we want to right click, uh, open our spectrum options. And I want to uh, try out a couple modes here. So the average time, I want that five seconds just to get an average energy level. I'll hit OK. I want to hit, I want to hit play where the energy is uh, kind of where it's at, and we can take a listen. Right, so you see that we have a bit of energy up here that I can kind of smooth out and take away. So you're not trying to like just follow the line kind of blindly, but you're looking for uh, a curve that kind of makes sense um, musically. So I'll do that now and you'll be able to see me kind of do it. So that's just a basic kind of rundown, and you want to kind of uh, turn off the EQ on and on to hear what's going on. So this, this will make it, in my opinion, I find that following this to you know to varying degrees will make the the mix sound a bit more balanced and make it sound a bit, you know, kind of pulled together, and uh, it'll translate well. Um, when you change these sort of things around. We're only moving around well, a matter of uh, uh, 4 dB at most. Um, but yeah, what else was I going to show? Oh, my brain just kind of gapped out there. I think, I think that's basically it. Um, another thing you want to kind of ignore is what's going on in the low end. You're going to want to not follow the flat response of the low end because the low end is kind of important, especially for uh, EDM. Right. Oh, this is what I was going to show you. So you right click to spectrum options, uh, spectrum type. Let's go uh, one third octave to see which, what each octave, which each you know third of an octave uh, um, is uh, reacting overall to the plot, which is another way of kind of um, judging whether your uh, mix is kind of balanced here. So we'll do that. Okay. Right, so that white noise is kind of affecting that. That's fine. So I'll just. I tend to like a lot of low end there. So I'll go spectrum options to critical. So this is kind of a critical uh, measurement. It's a different type. Some are, it's, some are full octave, some are third of an octave. It's just a different way and it focuses more on musically critical frequencies. Right, so 
So in the mix, there's a bit missing right here. So I could go into my lead or whatever, have this on a separate screen, and uh, accentuate that. I'd like the two, two and a half, two point five k, two point two k hertz range, and enhance that and make the signal a bit more full. And, uh, you know, the bass and everything sounds all right. Uh, bass is a little bit harder to gauge. But anyway, um, yeah, that is the uh, 6 dB guide. Pink noise is also um, useful. Uh, but the, the 6 dB guide is what's used kind of commercially. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great way to uh, get your mix um, prepared for further processing. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, quite nice. Uh, hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.